Seeing six-year-old Shyla Cronquist playing her favorite songs on the piano, you'd never guess she spent the past few years fighting for her life. She just has a spirit that uh, light, you know, brings light into every room. But in 2014, that light was dimmed when Shyla started having trouble breathing. We enrolled her in a little soccer camp at the end of summer, and during one of the early, early on in one of the practices, she probably kicked the ball about three times and then picked it up, and she's like, Mommy, I can't breathe. I felt like something happening to me. It's like I couldn't play soccer at all. After several tests and CT scans, Shyla was diagnosed with lymphoma. She was just three years old. I'll never forget when um, the doctor introduced herself as an oncologist and I almost couldn't hear anything after that. I'm like, wait a minute, what? It was awful and uh, I think we, it changed, you know, it changed everything in that moment. Shyla underwent two and a half years of chemotherapy. During her treatment, the Make-A-Wish Foundation helped take her mind off her battle with a dream vacation, combining her two favorite things, princesses. Shyla's love of princesses is evident when you enter her room. Got some princesses right here. And here is all my princesses dress. And road trips. She loved uh, a, a, an experience we had camping in an RV, uh, you know, earlier in her life when she was two. She would get to relive the experience in an RV fit for a princess heading to Disneyland. Well, my dad drove the RV because he's so great at driving. She felt like a princess. She felt really, really special. I saw two princesses, Cinderella and Belle. I saw Mickey, Goofy, um, Daisy. Um, Donald was there. I don't know why we didn't see Donald. <laughs> Why wasn't he there? I didn't see him. <laughs> Donald may have been missing, but her family was right there by her side. When you have the Make-A-Wish program, it gives you the excuse, it gives you the permission uh, to go have some fun. It was really fun when I went there. Shyla finished her treatment in February. Since then, her bright spirit and favorite tunes are once again filling her home and her parents' hearts. In Rancho Cordova, Tony Valliere, KCRA 3 News.